Galaxy clusters contain anywhere from hundreds to thousands of galaxies, and there's no fixed demarcation between what's considered a galaxy group and a cluster. In the early 1960s, astronomer George A. Bell cataloged 2,700 clusters in the northern sky, and 20 years later he completed the work for the southern sky. This was the first catalog of the largest known structures in the universe. Now CCD technology is used to image the sky to even greater depths, and more than 30,000 clusters are known. Clusters are typically identified by direct imaging, where an overdensity of galaxies or an increased concentration is seen in particular areas of the sky. But to confirm the presence of a cluster, spectroscopy is needed. Redshifts must be obtained to show that the concentration of galaxies exists in a particular region in three dimensions. Clusters are characterized in particular by what's called their richness. Richness reflects the number of total members and the degree of concentration of the galaxies and also the symmetry on the sky. Poor clusters have smaller number of members, are less centrally concentrated, and can even be irregular in shape, whereas rich clusters have a large number of members, a high degree of central concentration, and tend to be symmetric.